nothing. I just, I know we're going to Alaska and hopefully uh, Prudhoe Bay, snowball fights. It's like riding from LA to New York and back. So I don't know who does that in 10 days, but we're those idiots. This is another case of cabin fever and beer causing good ideas. I was just, you know, flipping around on the internet and saw, uh, saw this rally and I always wanted to go to Alaska. And we already had these Tiger 800s that we collaborated with Icon and Triumph and, and my shop, Motor Works, of course. This is the same unit that we used in Mexican 1000. Still has the shock uh, welded to the frame. I hope it's gonna make it. If not, we'll two up with Johnny pulling that thing. The rally is a time stage distance rally, which I didn't know anything about. There are people that take this very seriously. And in a TST rally, you have to be on time. You have to go the correct speed at the correct time. My only concern is my lack of preparation. Because you woke me up this morning, you're like, where's your heated gear? And I'm like, uh, you're looking at it. Like, I didn't bring no heated gear, no nothing. Just kind of hoping this uh, Raiden gear holds up and gets me through it. Oh, I got, a, I got the fruit cup in the fruit cup holder. It actually sticks pretty good, dude. Look at that. Just easy access. This thing's been abused. First couple hours, we had some good twisties, and then after that, it was some open road that was a little, a little boring. You know, we're a little bit hooligan style here, so being one mile an hour under the speed limit for extended stages isn't really my cup of tea, Ernie's cup of tea, anybody's cup of tea. For one, we had the Scala Rider units, so we were able to talk crap all day and uh, tell jokes and make fun of each other and all that good stuff. Very good. Yeah, I think so. You know, the standard rally distance mileage is, you know, that's really some pussy shit. And, you know, we're hoping to log a couple of hundred miles of extracurricular, rack up some penalties along the way. Got off course and uh, Johnny Moto decided it was time to get sideways and shitty. That's what we did, and now our bikes got about 20 extra pounds of dirt on them. It's messy out here. <laughs> So today, uh, I think the first, within three miles, we hit a 300 mile gravel section, which is like a mix of Wizard of Oz meets uh, Lord of the Rings with four Tiger 800 XCs smashing through it all. A little practice run for what's to come. Johnny Shelf, he's kind of a pussy, uh, mostly. I guess he could ride a little bit, but you know, we try to take care of him as best we can when he gets scared. Johnny Chef gets by with stunt doubles. Like half the time riding, he's riding behind in like a limo or a big fancy RV. Yeah, little buddy used to be my stunt double, but he hasn't aged particularly well. So uh, we had to get a younger, better looking stunt double to what? replace him. Robbie asked if that's some sort of Latino GPS that my mom gave me, where she's like, follow the cherries, follow the cherries. Thirty minutes of jungle fury, brought to you by by Mr. Mikey Levine, Icon Zone, and I am uh, playing cameraman. Uh, Mustache's bike broke. He fell over. It pinned the throttle. Locked up the engine. Oh no. Johnny, you found a gem. Oh man, I'm glad you're grooving on it. I'm so digging good. this too. I don't see it getting any better than that for motorcycling. One of the best dirt trails ever. And then ripping turns with just random waterfalls and black bears and snow on top of mountains. Highly recommended. Okay. Are you going to Telegraph Creek? Um, which one is that? What are the, what's the other option? That is the option. Yeah. Hey, dude. Mikey, watch out. Oh, he's coming, Mike. He's coming. Oh, dude, he's f***ing charging you, man. Oh, man, there's 
Nice one. First one's free. Yeah, I dumped it already. This is the right way, right? No? Yeah, right. Thank you, Johnny. He's so dangerous that we have to keep him in a net the whole time, do like a little cage. <laughs> nice, those were kind of this bugging me. How do you ride like that? This is dude. Yeah. <laughs> he had 14 pounds, 13 pounds in it. We're inflating it to 40. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Gas after the dunes, just so the bikes are light in the sand. Yeah, we got Mike's tanks. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> Little slick. saw us at the world's smallest desert, which was a great opportunity to go do some dune riding. I hadn't ridden one of these bikes in sand, and our tires were pretty clapped out. Ernie's tires gone completely at that point, and the bikes handled it really well. You know, you feel the front end start to just, oh shit, and just pick up a little bit of throttle, and the triple roost you right out of there. Watch your clutch out here, you know? We stopped and did some shooting and just kind of hung out and, and enjoyed the day a little bit more than, than we'd been able to in days past. It's a good thing you have the road map. Yes, it is a good thing. <laughs> She's empty. What are we gonna do? <laughs> oh, he's already here, dude. Oh, triple, at, triple A is already Madden. here, dude. That's fast service, man. These guys, and that was fing bitching, man. No plan, no hierarchy, no bullshit. We just all started wrenching, and in, I'm gonna say, an hour and 15 minutes' time, we spooned on a half a dozen tires on wheels and had four rear wheels on and off the bikes. Bernie and I both did some surgery on our front fenders. These are curb fillers. I got Mikey's bike to idle. There was a little bit of dirt clogging up the stepper motor, which is something that we see commonly when we're using these bikes in the field. And, uh, and a host of other little details. So we're just gonna go today and just, if we see something cool, f it, jump like off the road and hit it. Be cool. yeah. Eagle trap, dude. <laughs> That's moss. That shit is no joke. We uh, screwed around on some the TSDs or the time stage distance segments. We let everyone go first so we didn't uh, get in the way of their rally. And then we had some fun, rocked through some trees and some, some nice two track. Matt, are you there? I don't know which way he went. He went that way. Road, right? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was awesome. I think that's the most shitty I've ever gotten in a trail. I almost did shit like four times. I'll do that fucking trail all day. Hey, watch out for mud, dude. That is a lake. We took a, a little special stage where we went off course, headed down to a lake, and across it looked a little muddy. So I charged it and made it about 50 feet and sunk into to a bunch of pudding. Good. 
<laughs> Dude, look how soft. Oh. Oh. Dude, stack it in, dude. This I want to play the casual up. Term right here. I think we might have to just leave it. <laughs> yeah, this is not ideal. Piece of wood. Did my bike fall over yet? Yeah. It did? Yeah. One, two, We were ankle plus deep in water in that mud, and I don't have another pair of boots to put on, and or a, f a fresh pair of socks, uh, even. And these f boots kept my feet dry. I was really, really, really stoked about that. It seems minor, but we had an over 300 mile highway cruise at us. And temperatures in the low 60s, high 50s, maybe. You know, wet feet. It's, it's no fun. And then had what I really enjoyed, a, a nice quiet highway ride. There were no billboards, very few towns, not a lot of traffic. And, and I got a little bit of that helmet time that I was looking for just to peace out and enjoy the scenery. We're here crossing the Skaggs River. We will cross into Alaska shortly after that to get to Fairbanks, which is staging us for our run at the Arctic Circle. At this point, in my mind, to me, this trip was about getting this team past the Arctic Circle. That's where my heart's at, that's where my head's at, that's where my happiness is, is tied to. Here, let's try something right away, Johnny. Let's try disconnecting all the shit that... All you got's a Gerbing's lead and a GPS, man. Well, you know the old saying, if it has or wheels, you're gonna have problems with it. Uh, in this case, it's of the wheeled variety. It takes the wheels to get the stuff. Yeah. It's not all the way in. I just pushed it down. Nice, dude. I mean, we're beating the crap out of them. Stuff's gonna come loose. Sometimes it's as easy as just shoving a connector back in and you're good, so. Uh, a little something I learned from Survivor Man. That Arctic Circle runs 500 miles each way. And we won't have all of our the truck support and all of the rally support going up to the Arctic Circle. So Ernie's hard on a bike. You know, I think that at a pace that's a little bit less, his smoothness would make up for the fact that he's asking a lot of the machine. But he's just a an animal. Something that they talk about at Danny Walker's American Super Camp, which is a flat track school. This transition from skidding on brake to picking up the throttle and seeing Ernie do it at the proximity that I've watched him do it and the way that he goes from sliding to spinning the tire, it's f***ing beautiful. I've got it in my head that that's a skill that I'm gonna master in the next 10 years. This is how bad the, the roost is. Did you see this? That's from a rock. That's from a rock. Wow. Imagine if he didn't have that. That was a broken hand, Heck dude. Yeah. Felt like it was probably six inches off the ground, yeah? Oh shit, are you okay? That shit is slick. Oh! Oh! Oh, he fell. You okay, Johnny? Okay, one, two, three. Don't stop. I think it's doable. Oh, 
geil. I couldn't see my visor from the water truck. My visor was brown. I, can, I literally cannot see anything. Holy shit. Dude, this is like the snow. Wash me, Johnny. Beasting, going down the road, 85 miles an hour plus. Yeah, and uh... Uh, yeah, it was pretty entertaining. Another day. It's definitely starting to feel the thousands of miles that we've done in the last week. Uh, and just slowly dying. The first few days were definitely the best days, though. I think it's cold and wet, and it's like 95% chance that it's going to rain. 36 degrees. It's going to be brutal. Dude, are you kidding me? If I got a choice between going south and then cutting across the mountain and then going south on the highway, that's not a choice. What are you doing? That's like the choice between cock or pussy, or <laughs> poverty or wealth. That's not a fucking decision. Ernie's going for it, and his tire's pretty thin. But I think he, he knows what to do. I mean, his happy place riding a motorcycle, I would consider a crash. You know, my brain would tell me I was crashing. Uh, <laughs> where he rides, I would just be like, ah. <laughs> I could have done the shot in Chicago for all intents and purposes. I would love to put my brain in his body while he's doing what he does, just to see how that all works. I looked up at the drone, and all of a sudden my front tire was off the road. This is, uh, this is hard to beat. So, you know, for the last, I've been watching, you know, for the last eight days, man, I've been, been <clears throat> struggling with something, Ernie. I'm having, having a lot of trouble. Can't get it up, man. Oh, no, dude, my front oh, wheel, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. A balance point wheelie. That would be, that'd be really cool. He's been giving me some pointers and we've been working on some stuff, but my wheelies are still, they're not wheelies, they're little, uh, uh, you know. Front wheel comes a off a foot and slams back down. You know, a great one is the front wheel comes up 18 inches. I chop off the uh, throttle and bam. Ernie does it all hot boy style, 12 o'clock. We'll practice this whole morning. Cool. One of these days it'll happen, but I don't think it's gonna be on this trip.
Some of those branches are strong like pool. Yeah, there's a big one there. Strong current, but it's not very deep. So the problem is, is if you hit a rock and you stuff the front, you're f***ing going down and you're getting drenched and the bike's landing on top of you in the rock. Ready? That water's f***ing cold, holy shit! Stop. Oh, you're with the hot boys. Well, that was a uh, very undramatic. Dude, what did you guys just pull off? <laughs>